In this video, we will see how to configure adaptive authentication in the mini orange admin panel. From this section, you can prompt different authentication factors, counting on the behavior like device IP and geolocation of the user, which directly makes the security level the very best. First, log into your mini orange admin dashboard. To set up adaptive authentication, go to the left navigation bar and click on adaptive authentication. Here you can see two sections add policy and view policy in the view policy section you can edit the default or existing policy of your application in add policy section there are six different subsections from which you can set up the adaptive authentication policy first ip restriction configuration in this restriction method the admin sets up a list of ip addresses to allow or deny access on and when a user tries to log in into any of the applications configured with adaptive authentication we support ip addresses range in three formats ipv4 ipv4 cider and ipv6 cider you can choose whichever is suitable for you first enable the ip restriction option Select action for behavior change if the user's IP address is not in a configured list. Specify the IP address range for which you want the above setting to reflect. For each IP range you add, you can choose to either allow or deny it by enabling or disabling the switch button next to it. You can add multiple IPs and IP ranges by clicking on the plus button. Second, device restriction configuration. In this restriction method, the admin allows end users to add a fixed number of devices as trusted devices for their account. First enable the device restriction option. Here in the input field, enter the number of devices you want your end users to register. Select your action if the number of devices registered by users exceeds the allowed limit. You can also enable the option, send email alerts to users if you want to alert the user about number of devices exceeding the limit. Next location-based restriction configuration. In this restriction method, the admin configures a list of locations where we want to allow end users to either log in or deny, based on the conditions set by the admin. Enable location-based restriction option. Here in the input fields, enter the location name. Add the in and around distance for your location. Click on the plus button to add more than one location. Next, time-based restriction configuration. In this restriction method, the admin configures a time zone with start and end times for that time zone, and users are either allowed, denied or challenged based on the condition in the policy. Enable time-based restriction option. Enter the time difference value in minutes for the fraud prevention check. Select the time zone from the list and enter appropriate values. You can click on the plus button to add more than one time configuration. Next, action for behavior change configuration. Here you can configure one of the three possible actions for our adaptive authentication policy. Next is notification and alert message configuration. This section handles the notifications and alerts related to adaptive authentication. It provides the following options. The next subsection is send email alerts, allowing you to enable or disable alerts for admin and end users. To enable alerts for admins, you can enable the administrator switch button. You can also customize the deny messages from here. And then click on the save button. To enable adaptive authentication for your existing application, go to the policies section and select app login policy. Now click on add policy tab. Here is per your choice, select the application from the dropdown. Select the group name, policy name and login method. Enable the toggle button for adaptive authentication. Select the login policy method from the drop-down. Here you can select any of these methods to restrict app access. And then save the settings. I hope I was able to make you understand how to set up adaptive authentication in the mini orange admin panel. If you have any questions, do let us know in the comment section, or you can directly connect with us at idpsupport at